Stoicism is a school of philosophy that can guide us in mastering the balance between care and indifference. Its techniques and principles can help us cultivate a mindset that navigates the art of not caring in a mindful way. In this video, we'll be exploring five Stoic methods to help you achieve this state of equanimity. By the end, you should have a new perspective on what not caring can mean and how to use it to your advantage. Number one, focus solely on what you can control. Firstly, acknowledging what you can personally control in your life is vital. We often find ourselves anxious and edgy about elements in life we have little to no grip over. It's a common dissuasion that can lead to feelings of powerlessness or helplessness. The key is to shift your focus to areas over which you can exercise some control. Let's consider a practical scenario. You are in a traffic jam. You have no control over the traffic. However, you can control your response to it. Instead of getting angry or stressed, you can choose to put on some calm music, listen to an audiobook, or just enjoy the momentary pause. Similarly, in life, you can't control what others think of you, their actions, or outside events. But you have complete control over how you perceive it, your reactions to it, how much energy and time you devote to it. Striving to exercise control over uncontrollable aspects saps our energy, focus, and time. It can lead to frustration, stress, and even burnout. This mindset not only helps to cope with life's inevitable difficulties and uncertainties, but also frees up your mental space, energy, and time that you can redirect towards things you can control. Like your attitude, your reactions, your mindset, your boundaries, your self-care practices, your habits, your commitments, and so on. Emphasizing areas you can control aids in prioritizing your efforts and actions that eventually lead to personal growth. This, then, would not only create an environment of positivity around you, but encourages your self-confidence and resilience in the face of adversity. It brings about a dominoes effect, prompting continual self-improvement and encouraging personal growth. Number two, acceptance of life's inherent unpredictability. Acceptance of life's inherent unpredictability is not as straightforward as it sounds. At first glance, it might seem counterintuitive, if not entirely hopeless. Why should we accept something as volatile as life's unpredictable nature? The answer lies deep within the realm of Stoic philosophy. We have to learn and accept that unpredictability is merely part of our existence. The key to understanding this lies in cultivating resilience amidst chaos. Picture life as a constantly evolving weather cycle. Like storms that suddenly appear, the circumstances of life can often hit you unawares. These events, despite our best plans and intentions, are largely beyond our control. What Stoicism teaches us is to maintain our composure amidst these unexpected situations. Instead of becoming a victim of these changes, we can use them as stepping stones for mental endurance and growth. Accepting life's unpredictability doesn't mean you just stop planning and fully succumb to whatever life throws at you. Rather, it means understanding that you can't predict or control every aspect of life. This mentality is neither negative nor defeatist. In fact, it's entirely freeing. Once you discard your excessive need for control over things beyond your reach and start accepting whatever comes your way, you'll find yourself lighter and more at peace. Furthermore, acceptance prepares us for adversity. Like a seasoned sailor embracing the tides, if you are aware that the sea can form waves at any time, you are less likely to be rattled when they finally appear. This form of acceptance allows you to adapt more effectively, handle challenges with more grace, and remain undeterred towards your set goals. Understanding and accepting life's inherent unpredictability is thus a fundamental component of mastering the art of not caring in the healthiest of ways. It's about letting go of the fear and anxiety that come with wanting to control what simply can't be controlled, opening yourself to life as it emerges, helping you to stay centered, come what may. Number three, practice indifference to external events. Practicing indifference to external events can seem counterintuitive. After all, shouldn't we care about the world around us? In the realm of Stoicism, however, it's not about a total lack of care or apathy, Rather, it's about the understanding and realization that we often have no control over external events. The Stoic way encourages us not to place our peace of mind in the hands of occurrences outside of our direct control, as to do so puts our emotional state at the mercy of unpredictable and uncontrollable factors. 
This is not to say one should ignore the world around them. Instead, it's about changing our relationship with external events. Instead of getting swept up and reacting emotionally to every twist and turn of life, we can take a step back and view things from a more objective standpoint. For instance, if you're stuck in traffic and running late, instead of allowing stress and frustration to take over, simply accept the situation as it is. You can't control the flow of cars on the road or the timing of traffic lights. What you can control, however, is your reaction to the situation. You can choose to remain calm, maybe switch on your favorite music or podcast, and make the most of the time. Mastering this indifference does not happen overnight. It takes practice. It's about cultivating a mindset shift over time, gradually disentangling your happiness and peace from external events and anchoring them within yourself. Remember, Stoicism doesn't advise against feeling emotions. Instead, it encourages us to feel them, observe them, but never let them control us. Embracing this way of thinking allows us to navigate life with greater stability and calmness, weathering the storms of life without losing our inner peace. Number four, constantly cultivate inner peace. Constantly cultivating inner peace is a pivotal aspect of mastering the art of not caring. In a world characterized by chaos, noise, and incessant activity, maintaining a state of inner tranquility can be a challenging endeavor. However, it's a worthwhile pursuit as it brings about a multitude of benefits that can enhance life's overall quality. The cultivation of inner peace starts with conscious thought management. Our thoughts significantly influence our emotions and our reactions to external events. By objectively analyzing our thoughts without judgment, we can disengage from negativity, stress, and worry, fostering a state of serenity and calm within us. Conscious thought management can also involve combating negativity with positivity. Making intentional efforts to focus on the bright side of life can be a powerful way to create a peaceful and contented mind. The practice doesn't mean we ignore or invalidate our negative feelings, but rather acknowledging them, learning from them, then shifting our focus to positive aspects. Mindfulness and meditation are other effective ways of cultivating inner peace. These practices help us to stay present in the moment, free ourselves from the clutches of past regrets or future anxieties, and achieve a state of mental calmness and clarity. Taking care of our mental health should be as routine as brushing our teeth or eating meals. Engaging in activities that we love, practicing self-care, setting boundaries, and disconnecting from scenarios or people that drain us emotionally can be instrumental in maintaining mental tranquility. Furthermore, rationalizing challenging situations can also contribute to inner peace. Life will test us with setbacks and disappointments. However, realizing that these hurdles can actually be opportunities for growth can assist us in maintaining balance and tranquility amid life's storms. Constantly cultivating inner peace isn't an overnight process. It's an ongoing journey. However, by regularly investing in our mental well-being, we make strides toward mastering the art of not caring about things that would otherwise disrupt our emotional equilibrium. Number five, detach from outcome, value the process. More often in life, we find ourselves stressing over outcomes, obsessing over whether things will go as planned or if all our work will be in vain. However, in order to effectively master not caring, it's crucial to detach from outcomes and start valuing the process instead. When you are solely focused on an outcome, you miss out on the journey that gets you there. This journey or process is where the true experience lies, where the greatest lessons are learned, where self-growth happens. It's during the process that we learn more about our resilience, capabilities, and character. So it makes more sense to place value on it rather than on the outcome. One tip to start detaching from outcomes is by setting process-oriented goals instead of result-oriented goals. A process-oriented goal focuses on actions you have control over, like aiming to write for an hour each day, rather than aiming to write a bestseller. This way, you become better through consistent practice and effort, no matter what the result is. Also, do a self-check when you find yourself becoming too attached to an outcome. Ask yourself, why am I so focused on this specific result? And what would happen if things don't turn out the way I expect? The answers will remind you that the potential pleasure or pain from an outcome is not a reflection of your worth. Throughout this stoic practice, bear in mind that detachment from outcomes doesn't mean apathy 
or not caring about your work. On the contrary, it means caring more about your personal development and effort, and less about things you can't control. Remember, the joy of life comes in living fully in each moment, rather than only at the peak of success. To truly master the art of not caring, value your journey rather than your destination. Permit yourself to detach from the outcome, and in doing so, allow room for peace and acceptance to flourish within. Remember, mastering the art of not caring isn't about disregard or neglect, but a strategic shift of focus towards what truly matters and is within your control. It's about acceptance, indifference to external factors, inner peace, and valuing the process above the outcomes. If you found this enlightening, show some love by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more. Thanks for sticking around. See you soon.